exclusive contract with Velu Novel Network Novel. Sihiyuan. Starting from technician to full dot time through the passage of Love in a Courtyard, Lin Yu became an ordinary resident in the courtyard. His father was a martyr and his mother was a veteran worker in a steel rolling mill. Lin Yu almost married Qin Huairu, but with Lin Yu's mother's sudden death, Qin Huairu turned around and married Jia Dongxiu, an apprentice at the steel rolling mill. Qin Huairu, in order to maintain her reputation as not being vain, and together with the Jia family, vigorously slandered Lin Yu, causing Lin Yu's reputation to be extremely poor in the courtyard. Lin Yu took over his mother's class and entered the steel rolling mill to work. In his spare time, he self-taught university courses, obtained a university graduation certificate, and became a technician in the steel rolling mill. He also became an assistant to the workshop director and activated the check that IN system. At this time, Jia Dongxiu, who did not seek progress, was only a first-level fitter at the steel rolling mill. Qin Huai Ru's intestines are regretful. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. 1. Technician becomes a regular employee and wakes up the check that I end system. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In the 1960s, Red Star Steel Rolling Plant. Approaching the end of work in the afternoon, a broadcast suddenly sounded from the loudspeaker. Broadcasting good news, Comrade Lin Yu, an intern technician in Workshop 1, has accumulated rich technical experience through his diligent learning and unremitting efforts. Today, he successfully passed the technician assessment and officially became a technical worker in our steel rolling plant. After organizational discussion, it has been decided to appoint Comrade Lin Yu as the assistant workshop director. This broadcast echoed through the steel rolling mill and stunned countless workers. Lin Yu is really amazing. In just three years, he became a technician in our factory. What's more, he's amazing. Haven't you heard of him? After Lin Yu took over his mother's class and started working, he has been self-studying university courses in his spare time. I heard that Lin Yu only took two years to obtain his university graduation certificate, and then only three more years to officially become a technician at our steel rolling plant. Really? This is also amazing, isn't it? I self-studied college courses and obtained my college graduation certificate. It only took me two years. This is definitely the first person in our steel rolling plant. Workshop 1. Yi Zhonghai who was tidying up his tools and preparing to leave work, heard news on the radio and his hands suddenly shook. He released a wrench and fell to the ground, almost hitting his foot. Becoming a regular employee. So fast. Also appointed as an assistant to the workshop director. Yi Zhonghai let out a bitter smile, with mixed flavors in his heart. Five years ago, after the death of Lin Yu's mother, Qin Huairu married his disciple Jia Dongxiu. In order to protect his disciple, Yi Zhonghai did not give Lin Yu much trouble in the courtyard. At that time, he had no confidence in Lin Yu at all. But he never expected that while Lin Yu was working in the steel rolling mill, he could even self-study college courses and obtain a college graduation certificate. Now, he has become a full-time employee again, officially becoming a technician in the steel rolling mill, and also serving as the assistant workshop director of their number one workshop. His future prospects are limitless. Looking at his disciple Jia Dongxiu, who had been with him for five years, he only passed the first level fitter assessment yesterday. This is definitely the worst and most useless disciple led by Yi Zhonghai. The two of them can't compare at all. Yi Zhonghai regretted not being there before. If I had known Lin Yu could have achieved what he is today, I should have had a good relationship with him back then. Yi Zhonghai is currently a level 7 fitter, and in a while he will be taking the level 8 fitter exam. At that time, Lin Yu, a technician who serves as the assistant to the workshop director, will be one of his main examiners. As the first master in the courtyard, Yi Zhonghai had to pass the assessment of the furry boy Lin Yu, which was unimaginable. Okay, 
Brother Yu, congratulations on passing the technician assessment. We're treating you. Brother Yu is not a stingy person, treating guests is a must. In the technical office. Several young technicians and Lin Yu made friendly jokes and congratulated Lin Yu one after another. These guys are all college students, some of whom have been working longer than Lin Yu, but Lin Yu passed this technician assessment alone. They are simply envious of Lin Yu. Brothers, don't be discouraged. I'll take the lead for you this time. When we wait for the technician assessment in the second half of the year, everyone will definitely pass smoothly. Lin Yu patted the young men's shoulders and encouraged them with a smile. I hope so. Borrow Brother Yu's auspicious words. However, treating Brother Yu is essential. He he, Brother Yu, when will you invite us out to the restaurant? Everyone surrounded Lin Yu with the moon and stars, and his youthful face was filled with enthusiastic smiles. Lin Yu looked around at everyone and said with a smile, Tomorrow, let's go. Xiaoma and Xiao Wang are on night shift today, and neither of them is here. When they finish work tomorrow and everyone is here, I'll invite everyone to a restaurant. We can't miss any of our good brothers. Yes, brother Yu is right. You can't miss any good brothers. He he, brother Yu is the most open dot minded. Talking and laughing with colleagues, we walked out of the office together. Walking on the main road in the steel rolling plant area, the breath was filled with the smell of cast iron, cast steel, and rust. Various production slogans are painted on the mottled walls around. This is the steel rolling mill of the 1960s. The check that I end system has been awakened, and the host can receive system rewards by checking in daily. As he was walking, a cold voice suddenly came to Lin Yu's mind, startling him. System. You have finally awakened, I have been waiting for you for more than twenty years. It has been twenty-three years since Lin Yu traveled to this world, and he has already adapted to the living environment of this world. That's right, Lin Fan is a traveler or a tire puncturer. But in the first eighteen years, he had no memory of awakening future generations. It was not until his mother's death, under immense grief, that Lin Yu's memories of future generations were awakened. But he painstakingly discovered that as a traveler, he actually had no system. At this moment, accompanied by his mother's passing, Qin Huairu turned around and married Jia Dongxu, and urged the Jia family to slander him. In addition, the three elders in charge of the courtyard all openly and secretly favored Qin Huairu's family, and no one stood up to say a few good words for Lin Yu, which caused Lin Yu's reputation to be extremely poor in the courtyard. Lin Yu was also too lazy to deal with the evil neighbors in the entire courtyard. While burying himself in his work, he borrowed books on university courses from the library and self-taught for two years. He successfully obtained his university graduation certificate and later became an intern technician in the workshop. After three years of unremitting efforts, he finally became a qualified technician in the steel rolling mill today. Now, with the awakening of the check that I end system, Lin Yu's small days will become even more comfortable in the future. Leaving the steel rolling mill and separated from his colleagues, Lin Yu walked alone on a secluded path. System, I need to sign in, Lin Yu whispered to himself. Sign in successful. Reward, level 8 fitter skill, reward, kitchen god skill, reward, 200 yuan in money, reward, 10 pounds of meat ticket, Reward, 100 pounds of white noodles, reward, 60 pounds of rice, on his first check.in, Lin Yu received generous rewards. It goes without saying that in this era of material scarcity, rice and white noodles are definitely hard currency, and it is difficult to buy them with money, and tickets are also necessary. As for money, a reward of 200 yuan was given for one sign-in, which is a huge sum of money that can offset Lin Yu's salary for over four months after becoming a full dot time employee. After the technician became a regular employee, Lin Yu's salary was adjusted to 55 yuan per month. As for Jia Dongxu, the monthly salary of a first dot class fitter is 33 yuan. Jia Dongxu does not seek self dot improvement. 
He has a level 7 fitter master who teaches him techniques, but this guy doesn't study seriously and spends 5 years in a daze before barely passing the level 1 fitter assessment. Otherwise, how could Yi Zhonghai regret it so much now? He used to favor Jia Dongxu and befriend Lin Yu. When it comes to Yi Zhonghai, Lin Yu's idea falls on the level 8 fitter skill that the system just rewarded. With a sudden thought, I extracted the level 8 fitter skill. In an instant. All the skills related to fitters flooded into Lin Yu's mind, causing him to feel dizzy. A system-produced product must be a masterpiece. It's only a moment of effort. Lin Yu then mastered all the skills of a fitter. In a while, Yi Zhonghai will participate in the assessment of level 8 workers. As one of the main examiners, Lin Yu will give Yi Zhonghai a good lesson. Subsequently, Lin Yu extracted the kitchen god skill. Good guy. Extract two full level skills consecutively, some of which are superior. Lin Yu's head had a brief dizziness. With a flood of various culinary skills flooding into his mind, Lin Yu has already mastered two full level skills. The reason why these two skills are so urgently activated is because Lin Yu understands the importance of having skills in this era. In this era, people admire scientists and engineers the most. No matter where they go, they always give people a high opinion. In any factory, engineers are treasures. Today, the technician became a full dot time employee and also woke up to the system. Lin Yu was in a very good mood. He specifically went to the market and bought a pound of pork and some vegetables. Due to the lack of edible oil these days, people particularly like fatty pork, which is becoming more and more popular as it becomes fatter. Almost no one buys lean pork, but regardless of fat or lean, it costs 80 cents per kilogram, and of course, one pound of meat ticket is also required. Carrying this pound of pork with a rope, Lin Yu returned to the courtyard. As soon as he entered the gate, he met Mr. Yen Bugue head dot on. Hey, Lin Yu has finished work. This piece of pork is really good, I'm afraid it won't fit a pound, right? Yen Bugue smiled and looked at the pork in Lin Yu's hand, his eyes almost unable to move away. Exactly one pound. Lin Yu responded casually, carrying pork and walking towards the courtyard. He lives in the backyard, and to go home, he must pass through the front and middle yards, which inevitably leads to encountering these evil neighbors in the courtyard. Lin Yu, don't rush to leave, Yen Bugue said with a smile. I heard that you have become a regular today and officially become a technician at the steel rolling mill. You have also been appointed as the assistant workshop director of your number one workshop. Lin Yu, this is a great thing. When do you plan to set up a few tables in our courtyard? Let us old neighbors celebrate and celebrate for you. This is Mr. Yen Bugue, the manager of the front yard, a primary school teacher, nicknamed Yen Laoshi, who knows how to calculate. This old man is calculating the sky, the earth, the neighbors, and the children, wishing he could split a penny into two and spend it. Lin Yu gave Yen Bugue a cold glance and said, let's talk more. Want to scrape oil and water off me? What do you want to eat, Yen Bugue? Two, matchmakers come to introduce their partners, and silly pillars envy, envy, and hate each other. You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Carrying pork, Lin Yu walked through the front yard and arrived at the middle yard. Lin Yu, it's time to get off work. To Lin Yu's surprise, Grandpa Yi Zhonghai walked out of his house and greeted him with a smile. Lin Yu nodded not even glancing at Yi Zhonghai, and carried the pork into the backyard. Previously, Yi Zhonghai had never looked at him directly, but today he takes the initiative to greet him. Upon investigation, Lin Yu was clear about the reason. It's not because he became a technician and became the assistant workshop director of Workshop 1. Yi Zhonghai is currently a level 7 fitter, and it is said that he is planning to take the level 8 fitter exam. As a technician in Workshop 1 and also serving as an assistant to the workshop director, Lin Yu will be one of the main examiners for Yi Zhonghai's Level 8 Fitter exam at that time. 
Can Yi Zhonghai not curry favor with future examiners in his city government? Yi Zhonghai felt a bit annoyed and self-deprecating. Looking at Lin Yu's tall and upright figure, he felt extremely regretful in his heart. Why should we have known today earlier? Back then, if he hadn't turned his elbow inward and favored his disciple Jia Dongxu everywhere, why would his relationship with Lin Yu have become so strained? Lao Yi, what are you fooling around in the yard? You're eating inside. And he greeted Yi Zhonghai and called him home for dinner. Okay, here we go. Yi Zhonghai responded and went inside to eat. Next door room. Qin Huiru's family. Jia Zhang's eyes tilted and his mouth tilted, and he cursed maliciously, Lin Fan, who is a demon, won't even share such a large piece of pork with our family. He doesn't know how difficult our family is. No wonder he's still single until now. He deserves to be single for the rest of his life. Jia Dongxu, who was about the same size as Jia Zhang, looked at Qin Huiru with a gloomy expression on his face. You useless woman gave birth to a son for me, and the second child gave birth to a daughter for me. What's the point of giving birth to a daughter? A daughter is a loser. If you don't give birth to a son for me and the third child, why will I send you back to my rural hometown? Qin Huiru, who was cooking with a big belly, was so scared that she didn't dare to fart. Before marrying Jia Dongxu, Jia Dongxu spoke sweet words and talked wildly, causing Qin Huiru to be confused and confused. Since getting married, Jia Dongxu and her son have no longer concealed their ferocious faces, treating Qin Huiru as a means of reproduction and even as their Jia family maid. Jia Zhang scolds whenever he opens his mouth, and Jia Dongxu hits whenever he starts. In the past three years, Qin Huiru has suffered from old crimes. On the other hand, Lin Yu. After self.study of university courses, I obtained my college graduation certificate and became an intern technician at a steel rolling mill. I heard that Lin Yu has become a full.time technician and has been appointed as an assistant to the workshop director. Qin Huai Ru's intestines are regretful. She only hates when she was blinded by lard and mentally disabled before marrying Jia Dongxu. If I had known that Lin Yu could have achieved what he has today, Qin Huiru would have married Lin Yu even if she died. Suddenly, Qin Huiru saw an old woman enter the courtyard through the window glass. Matchmaker Wang. Why did she come? Qin Huiru is very curious. Next door, Yi Zhonghai's family. Aunt Yi, who was about to eat, suddenly saw matchmaker Wang enter the courtyard. She immediately stood up and welcomed her. Matchmaker Wang lives in the neighboring courtyard. Before, the two of them used to take walks and bask in the sun together. Auntie once mentioned to Matchmaker Wang that she would arrange to introduce a partner to Silly Zhu. Today, Matchmaker Wang suddenly arrived, needless to say, she must have come to mediate for Silly Zhu. Old sister. In law, why are you here? You must be here to mediate for Zhu, right? Please come in quickly. Auntie warmly invited matchmaker Wang into the room. Upon hearing that he had come to mediate for her, Silly Zhu was immediately overjoyed. He quickly picked up his comb, dipped it in water, and combed it in the mirror. Auntie, you're wrong. I'm not here to match up with Silly Zhu in your courtyard this time. I'm here to match up with Lin Yu. Matchmaker Wang smiled awkwardly at Auntie and headed straight to the backyard. And he was stunned on the spot. What? Counseling Lin Yu. Then we fools. And he murmured to herself, feeling very uncomfortable in her heart. As soon as she spoke, when she looked up again, the figure of matchmaker Wang had disappeared. The matchmaker Wang entered the backyard and went to Lin Yu's house to persuade him to act as a matchmaker. But it infuriated Silly Zhu. With a loud bang. He slammed the comb heavily onto the ground, gritting his teeth in anger. Damn Lin Yu, I'm a fool. You wait, I'm not finished with you. Silly Zhu was furious and lifted his foot, stepping several times on the comb on the ground. What? 
Matchmaker Wang came to talk to Lin Yu about matchmaking. Jia Zhang rolled her eyes and cursed maliciously, why did she talk to that bastard Lin Yu about matchmaking? Lin Yu's father is dead, his mother is dead, and there is only one single commander in the family. There is not even an elder in the family. Who would be interested in him? He's completely blind. Jia Dongxiu said with a gloomy face, Lin Yu passed the technician assessment today, became a regular employee, and officially became a technician in our number one workshop. That guy also had a bad luck and became the assistant director of our workshop. Someone must have heard the news and asked matchmaker Wang to tell Lin Yu that the matchmaker has arrived. Jia Dongxiu turned his head and stared coldly at Qin Huairu. Back then, he intercepted Qin Huairu and became complacent for several years. But now, five years have passed. The pride of intercepting Qin Huairu has long disappeared, replaced by disgust and suspicion towards Qin Huairu. Even if Qin Huairu casually glanced at Lin Yu now, Jia Dongxiu would be extremely jealous, wishing to pick Qin Huairu's hair and press her down to the ground to beat her up. Especially when Jia Dongxiu thought about Lin Yu becoming their workshop director's assistant in the future, his feelings became even more unpleasant. Feeling Jia Dongxiu's cold gaze, Qin Huairu was so frightened that she didn't dare to take a breath. She honestly cooked in the kitchen. 3. Whether a daughter dot in dot law is beautiful or not depends entirely on the matchmaker's mouth. You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. Backyard. Matchmaker Wang came to Lin Yu's house. Lin Yu warmly invited Matchmaker Wang to come into the room and sit down, and brewed a cup of tea for Matchmaker Wang. Who is the most popular person these days? Of course it's a matchmaker. Whether a daughter dot in dot law is beautiful or not depends entirely on the matchmaker's mouth. Lin Yu, I heard that you became a regular today and became a technician at the steel rolling mill. You also became an assistant to the workshop director. Congratulations. There is one more thing to congratulate you on. I have been entrusted by the old Yu family on Grand Cross Street to tell you about the matchmaker. The daughter of the old Yu family, Yu Li, is exactly 20 years old this year and looks very handsome. The little girl works at the Red Star Food Factory, works frugally, earns a salary, and can still live a good life. You can marry her back home, ensuring that she is a good wife for a husband and children. This Wang matchmaker is straightforward and not just pretending to be a matchmaker. She directly acts as a matchmaker for Lin Yu. Who's the girl from? Old Yu. Yu Li. Lin Yu was secretly delighted in his heart. Aunt Wang, that's kind of you. Thank you so much, I believe you. By the way, haven't you had dinner yet? I just cut a piece of meat and was planning to cook. Let's eat from my house before leaving. Lin Yu warmly invited matchmaker Wang to have dinner at his house. That's kind of you. I haven't eaten meat for a long time, so I'll eat it at your house tonight. Matchmaker Wang is also polite. Anyway, those who work in their industry are just stringing together from a hundred families and eating from a hundred families, not to mention the fact that Lin Yu's family still has meat. Lin Yu put on his apron and cooked himself. He cooked a course of fried meat with garlic and a course of boiled meat slices. He had some ready-made white flour mantu at home. Not long after, the aroma of garlic fried meat and boiled meat slices swept across the entire courtyard. The greedy neighbors kept swallowing water. Lu Hai Zhong Jia. Aunt Air is also cooking. Lu Hai Zhong sat at the table, half a plate of peanuts, drinking a small wine. Suddenly, he smelled a smell of meat in his bangs, and he couldn't help but swallow his saliva. His mother, who is stewing meat here. It's too delicious, isn't it? Why? You want to be greedy. Lu Haizhong shrugged his nose, without good breath. Who else can there be? Lin Yubei, just now I saw Lin Yu carrying a piece of pork back home, it must be Lin Yu stewing meat. Ant Air responded with a sour voice. Is it Lin Yu? 
No wonder, Lu Haizhong took a sip of wine and said, Today, Lin Yu, the technician, has become a full dot time employee and even an assistant to our workshop director. This guy will be my immediate supervisor in the future, and I will have to flatter him a bit. Still flattering others. Aunt Air glanced at her bangs in the kitchen, over the years, neighbors have insulted and slandered Lin Yu. Have you ever said a good word for Lin Yu? I see this matter hanging in the air. The eyebrows in the bangs immediately furrowed. As the master in charge of the backyard in the courtyard, he hasn't really taken Lin Yu seriously in these years. But who would have thought that the yellow-haired boy back then would start shaking? Surprisingly, he became his immediate superior. If I had known that Lin Yu would have had today, everything in the Lu Hai Zhong Club would have had a good relationship with Lin Yu. Intermediate Court Qin Huiru's Family Bang Ji lay on the ground, splashing and crying, wanting to eat meat. Jia Zhang cursed maliciously, that bastard Lin Yu is so wicked. He doesn't even bring a bowl of meat to our family even if he eats it himself. Doesn't he know that our family is facing the most difficulties in the courtyard? Jia Dongxu had a gloomy face and pulled the stick from the ground, glaring fiercely at Qin Huiru. What are you eating? My son wants to eat meat, wouldn't you go to the market to cut a piece of meat and make it for my son to eat? I can't even care about a child all day long. What's the use of asking you? Jia Dongxu cursed Qin Huiru like a dog's blood spray. Qin Huiru was so scared that she couldn't even take a breath. She explained obediently, our monthly living expenses are only two and fifty cents left. How dare I buy meat? If I really buy meat, I'm afraid our whole family will have to drink the wind in the second half of the month. Jia Dongxu was already in a bad mood. Upon hearing Qin Huiru's rebuttal, he immediately rushed over and slapped Qin Huiru twice. Where's the money? Where did I give you the money? Where did you go with all the money I gave you? Jia Dongxu looked like a mad dog and roared loudly at Qin Huiru. Qin Huiru was frightened. She trembled and didn't care about the pain on her face. She anxiously explained, You give me five yuan a month. Our whole family, food, drink, and pizza, all point to these five yuan. It's been half a month now, and I only have these two and five yuan left. Jia Dongxu worked at the steel rolling mill for five years and has always been an apprentice fitter with a monthly salary of only 27.5 yuan. He gave Qin Huiru 5 yuan as a monthly living allowance for the whole family. Give his mother Jia Zhang 3 yuan, 1 yuan to buy painkillers, and 2 yuan to keep for retirement. As for the remaining money of Jia Dongxu, he had to gamble on it and lost all of it. Qin Huiru also knew that Jia Dongxu was obsessed with gambling, but she didn't dare to interfere. She is a woman who married into the city from the countryside for five years and still holds a rural household registration. There are a total of five people in their family, only Jia Dongxu, Bangan, and Xiaodang have food rations. She and her mother in law Jia Zhang have rural household registration, and both women have no food rations. Qin Huiru dreams of getting a city household registration, but Jia Dongxu just doesn't help her. All right. Don't you, don't hit your wife anymore. At this moment, Jia Zhang spoke up. If you want to beat her, you have to wait until she gives birth to the child before beating her. It's not good to beat up our future grandson in the Lao Jia family. The first two sentences were heard by Qin Huiru, who was still somewhat moved. But the later words made Qin Huiru's hair stand on end. Der Qing has always been treated as a tool for childbirth by their Lao Jia family, and Der Qing's family never treated her like a human at all. Grandma, I want to eat meat, do I just want to eat meat? Bang Ji hugged Jia Zhang's pants legs, crying and making a fuss, but he threw a tantrum. The entanglement left Jia and Zhang at a loss. With a gloomy face, she ordered Qin Huiru, Qin Huiru, my grandson wants to eat meat. Why don't you go to the backyard to ask Lin Yu for a bowl of meat and bring it back for my grandson to eat? Qin Huiru was startled. 
She has been married to this courtyard for five years, and she dare not say a word to Lin Yu. She is afraid of being gossiped about and beaten by Jia Dongxu. Today, her mother Dot in Dot Law actually asked her to go to the backyard to ask Lin Yu for stewed meat. Qin Huairu reflexively looked up at Jia Dongxu. Jia Dongxu's face remained expressionless, gloomy, and he glared fiercely at Qin Huairu. What are you still doing in a daze? Didn't you hear what our mother said? Go quickly. Daring Jia Dongxu knew that Wang Matchmaker was eating at Lin Yu's house. He was not afraid that Qin Huairu would go to the backyard and cause trouble with Lin Yu. Qin Huairu sighed to herself and picked up an empty bowl and walked out the door. Silly Zhu watched Qin Huairu walk towards the backyard with a bowl through the window. He whispered to himself, What is Qin doing with a bowl? For, Qin Huairu shamelessly came to stew meat, but the result. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Backyard. Lin Yu's family. Lin Yu is picking vegetables for matchmaker Wan. It has to be said that the matchmaker who eats from a hundred families has a great appetite. Matchmaker Wang ate two big white flower mantu at one go, and she ate most of the meat and vegetables. Lin Yu also had two mantu and some meat and vegetables. It has to be said that after activating the kitchen god skill, Lin Yu's cooking skills are simply amazing. Causing trouble to the matchmaker, she was so worried that she didn't bite her own tongue and eat it. The two of them had enough to eat and drink. Lin Yu filled Wang matchmaker's tea cup with water again. Matchmaker Wang took a few sips of water and was about to leave. At this moment, Qin Huai Ru arrived. Qin Huai Ru, holding an empty bowl, stood at the door and timidly said to Lin Yu, Lin Yu, please do me a favor and give me half a bowl of stewed meat. Stick Chi is crying and making a fuss about wanting to eat meat, and I have no choice but to do so. This is the first time in five years that Qin Huairu has spoken to Lin Yu, and with just one mouth, she insists that Lin Yu wants to stew meat. Lin Yu looked expressionlessly at Qin Huairu and said, It's gone, I've eaten all the meat. After speaking, Lin Yu packed the remaining garlic fried meat and boiled meat slices and gave them all to matchmaker Wang. Matchmaker Wang is in a good mood. Today at Lin Yu's house, he's eating and taking food together. This young man is really nice. Okay, Lin Yu, let's make a deal. The weekend after tomorrow, at 5 p.m., I'll lead you Li to go on a blind date with you. You're ready. I'm leaving. Matchmaker Wang swaggered out of the room, holding the leftovers and food that Lin Yu had given him. When passing by Qin Huairu, he greeted her with a smile. Qin Huairu was so angry that she was dying. Feeling both shy and embarrassed, I wished I could find a crack in the ground to crawl in. Qin Huairu left the backyard crying and ran home. Qin Huairu, why are you running? Be careful not to damage my son. Jia Dongxu saw Qin Huairu running back with an empty bowl, but he didn't even ask for the meat and came back crying. He was so angry that Jia Dongxu wanted to raise his hand and hit Qin Huairu again. Jia Dongxu gave Qin Huairu a deep glance and asked, Huairu, why are you crying? Can it be that Lin Yu bullied you? This old man has already made up his mind. As long as Lin Yu bullies her daughter dot in dot law, she immediately runs to the backyard to find Lin Yu to settle the accounts. Jia Dongxu's gaze at Qin Huairu became even more fierce. If Lin Yu really bullied his woman, he would definitely not spare Lin Yu. Qin Huairu wiped her tears and shook her head. No. Lin Yu didn't bully me, it's just. I didn't ask for stewed meat from Lin Yu. Lin Yu gave all the remaining stewed meat he had eaten to Wang Matchmaker. Qin Huairu is crying and crying, not to mention being wronged. She never dreamed that she shamelessly ran to the backyard to ask Lin Yu for half a bowl of stewed meat. Not only did Lin Yu not give her even a little stew, but he even gave the remaining meat and soup to Wang Matchmaker in front of her. Not very harmful, extremely insulting. Damn Lin Yu! Why is he so inhumane? 
He would rather give stewed meat to that slut Wong matchmaker than give it to our family's memes. It's too much, too much. Jia Zhang glared at Lin Yu with a triangular eye and cursed maliciously. Jia Zhang was cursing fiercely when suddenly there was a knocking on the door outside. Who is it? Jia Dongxu frowned and asked. Dongxu, it's me, silly pillar. The sound of silly pillars came from outside the door. Jia Zhang immediately shut up, stopped scolding Lin Yu, and changed to scolding Silly Zhu. What is this foolish pillar who kills thousands of knives coming to our house for? Is it possible that he came to see us for a joke? Jia Zhang cursed. Jia Dongxu's gloomy face gave Qin Huairu a glance. Qin Huairu wiped her tears and opened the door. What caught Qin Huairu's eye was the ugly smiling face of Silly Zhu. Qin Jia, I brought back two boxes of leftover food and vegetables from the cafeteria. Anyway, I can't eat them myself, so I'll give them all to your house. Silly Zhu smiled and handed Qin Huairu two lunch boxes. Silly pillar, you. Qin Huairu was stunned on the spot. Qin Jia, quickly give it to Bang Ji to eat, don't starve the child. Silly Zhu chuckled at Qin Huairu, turned around very gracefully, left, and returned to his own room. Jia Dongxu walked over and silently closed the door. He took the two lunch boxes from Qin Huairu's hand and opened them to take a look. There is meat and vegetables inside, as well as a whole box of rice. Stick meme, stop crying now, there's meat to eat. Jia Dongxu first reached out and grabbed a piece of meat, stuffed it into his mouth, and began to chew it up. As soon as Bang Ji heard that there was meat to eat, he stopped crying and making noise. He got up from the ground and ran over. Jia Dongxu placed the lunch box on the table and let Bang Ji eat the meat inside. Jia Zhang also picked up chopsticks, picked up the meat from the lunch box, and ate it in big gulps. Mom, I also want to eat meat. Xiao Deng walked over from the corner and said in a timid voice. Get out of here. What kind of meat are you a loser eating? The meat is for my baby grandson and my son to eat. What qualifications do you have to eat our family's meat? Jia Zhang gave Xiao Dang a fierce glare and pushed him aside. Xiao Dang sobbed and began to cry. Qin Huairu quickly picked up Xiao Dang and coaxed him again and again. A lunch box of meat and vegetables, in just a moment, were eaten up by the Jia and Zhang sisters. Qin Huai Ru didn't even have a mouthful of meat soup. Qin Huai Ru has long been accustomed to it. She is the ox and horse of the Lao Jia family, the reproductive tool, and the maid. Jia Dongxu put down his chopsticks and gave Qin Huai Ru a deep glance with an oily glow on his mouth. How could Silly Zhu give us leftover food and vegetables for no reason? Qin Huai Ru, I warn you that if you dare to do something wrong to me, Jia Dongxu, I will send you to prison. Jia Dongxu said cruelly. No, really not. I don't know what kind of nerve fooled Zhu into giving us leftover food and vegetables. I swear to heaven, Qin Huairu, that I have never done anything wrong to you. Qin Huairu wronged Ba Ba and explained with tears in her eyes. There's no best, Jia Dongxu sneered. From now on, before leaving work every afternoon, you'll just guard at the gate and wait for Silly Zhu to come back. As soon as Silly Zhu comes back, you'll ask him for a lunchbox. Yes, Dong Su is right, Jia Zhang strongly agreed. In the future, with Silly Zhu's two lunchboxes, our family's life won't be so tight, right? Qin Huairu dared not even fart, so she nodded silently. 5. Lin Yu's friends are all technical elites, Jia Dong. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The next day, Lin Yu woke up and lay in bed, starting to sign in. Sign in successful. Reward: one bicycle ticket. Reward: two gold points. Reward: five feet of ticketing. Reward: fifty pounds of noodles. Reward: two mouse clips. Reward: one hundred eggs. There are various check that I n rewards today, and everything is available. 
However, Lin Yu is not picky about food, as it is always a dish when served in a bowl. Lin Fan has received his bicycle ticket. Tomorrow is the weekend, so he can just go and buy a bicycle. Although the steel rolling mill is not very far from the courtyard, with a one-dot-way journey of only 20 minutes, if you have a bicycle to go to work, you can reduce the time to less than 10 minutes. The two mouse clips came at the right time. Although there is material scarcity and not much surplus food in every household these days, almost every household has mice. The Lin Yu family is no exception. The mouse trap is just used to deal with those mice who sneak into the house to steal food. In addition to the check that I N reward, Lin Yu also discovered that he had a system space. He carefully explored the system space and was surprised. Space can accommodate unlimited space. This is too impressive. The system produces high dot quality products. Lin Yu got up, got dressed, and finished washing up. Entering the inner room, tearing off a picture poster from the wall, using a small knife to extract half a brick from the wall, revealing a hole in the wall. This wall hole is the safe of the Lin Yu family, and all valuable things are inside it. Lin Yu reached out and took out a cloth bag from the wall hole. He opened the bag and found 500 yuan and a jade bracelet inside. Among these 500 yuan, there is a pension from Lin Yu, who sacrificed his father, as well as some of the salary he has saved over the past five years. The jade bracelet is not very valuable, but it was left by his mother as a memory for him. Lin Yu put all the money and jade bracelets into the system space. In the future, money and jade bracelets will be carried with you, and you will no longer be afraid of someone breaking locks, flipping through boxes, and stealing. Half a brick was stuffed into the wall hole, the poster was repasted, and Lin Yu started making a simple breakfast. Stir fried egg noodles. Not long ago. The aroma of scrambled eggs spread throughout, and it also made many neighbors in the courtyard envious. After eating and drinking, Lin Yu locked the door and went to work. Arriving at the steel rolling mill, first report to the workshop director Zhao Shanha. Zhao Shanha, director Zhao, also comes from an intellectual background and admires Lin Yu very much. Initially, after completing his university courses and obtaining his graduation certificate, Lin Yu was recommended by director Zhao to become an intern technician. Xiaolin, I knew you could definitely become a full dot time employee. Director Zhao chuckled and patted Lin Yu's shoulder. Let's go and come with me to inspect our workshop. From now on, if I don't have time, you'll have to replace me and inspect our workshop every day. Ensure completion of the task, Lin Yu said decisively. Director Zhao was amused. The two of them came to the workshop together and inspected all the processes and production lines in the workshop. Jia Dongxu, I heard that technician Lin and you are neighbors. Do you live in the same courtyard? Why haven't you mentioned it before? Jia Dongxu was working with his buttocks pursed out when a colleague beside him smiled and asked him. Jia Dongxu rolled his eyes secretly and nodded. I won't explain much either. He certainly saw Lin Yu and Director Zhao walking past him just now. For Director Zhao, Jia Dongxu is extremely revered. But for Lin Yu, Jia Dongxu felt that Lin Yu was just a fox pretending to be a tiger. Isn't it just unlucky to become a workshop technician? What's so remarkable about it? D sir, what? Jia Dongxu only hates himself for not being appreciated by his superiors. Otherwise, he might be the one who becomes the director's assistant now. By the way, Jia Dongxu, after taking the exam for five years, you finally passed the first level fitter exam. Please give us a good time to celebrate and celebrate. That's right, don't you? You've come through all the hardships. Five years of resistance was not easy. We must celebrate well. A few colleagues gathered around, clamoring for Jia Dongxu to treat them. When it comes to these workers, there is actually a hint of mockery towards Jia Dongxu. After all, looking at the entire steel rolling mill, there is only one guy, Jia Dongxu, 
who only passed the first level fitter exam in five years. It's simply breaking the record of the steel rolling mill. Get out of here. Are you making fun of me? Do you still want me to treat you? I'll treat you to a northwest wind. Jia Dongxu glared at the group of workers in anger. Dongxu, don't be so stingy. Can you please invite us to a restaurant and have a meal together? How about we go gamble after we finish, suggested a colleague. Upon hearing this, Jia Dongxu immediately became interested. Inviting guests is a small matter, gambling is a big deal. These turtle grandsons used to win him a lot of money, and he always dreamed that these guys would spit out the money that won him. Today is a good opportunity. Okay, after work, I'll treat you to a meal at the small restaurant across from our factory. After you're drunk and full, let's see how I peel your skin on the gambling table. Jia Dongxu said with a twinkling in his eye. Hey, Dongxu is just open and bright. Dongxu, that's enough, buddy. Birds of a feather flock together. Lin Yu is surrounded by a group of technical elites. And Jia Dong was surrounded by a group of fox friends and dog friends. Jia Dongxu sent his colleagues back to work, and he thought to himself, Do you want to invite Master to come with us to a restaurant? After much thought, Jia Dongxu decided not to invite his master Yi Zhonghai. No face to invite someone. He is one of the few seventh level fitters in the steel rolling mill. He teaches him the skills of fitters hand in hand, but he has been confused for five years. He just passed the first level fitter exam a few days ago. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. 6. Do you still have the face to come and beg me to give you the green light? Think about. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After work in the afternoon. Lin Yu and several colleagues walked out of the office and headed straight towards the small restaurant across from the factory gate. Lin Yu and his team consist of eight young men in total. Among them are college students and vocational school students, all young technical reserve talents in the steel rolling mill, with a bright future. Arriving at the small restaurant, Lin Yu greeted his brothers to take their seats and then asked the waiter to take down the menu. Chicken, duck, fish, and meat were all served once and for all. The beer tube is full. Two bottles of Red Star Urguoto are also required for Baijiu. Lying grass. Brother Yu, are you too extravagant? I'm afraid we won't be able to get five yuan for this table of food and drinks, right? Huh, today we're going to beat the tycoons hard. Although Lin Yu and his colleagues were clamoring for Lin Yu to treat them, they never expected that Lin Yu would be so generous in his actions. You should know that they are still receiving the salary of intern technicians, with a monthly salary of only 48.50 yuan, which is still the salary of intern technicians for college students. A few vocational school students are interning as technicians, with a monthly salary of only 42.5 yuan. Lin Yu spent 5 yuan on this meal, which is a huge sum of money these days. Like Qin Huairu and his family of five people, a monthly living allowance of five yuan is enough. Lin Yu and his colleagues were not surprised. Lin Yu smiled and waved his hand, saying, although brothers have let go of eating, money and wealth are all external things. How can this little money compare to our brother's feelings? Upon hearing Lin Yu's words, the young men burst into laughter. Not long ago. Chicken, duck, fish and meat are all served on the table. There are a total of ten dishes paired with meat and vegetables. Such a sumptuous table of food is simply a luxury in these days. Brothers, let's raise our glasses together and toast brother you. Okay, a toast to brother you. Cheers the young men surrounded Lin Yu like a crowd of stars and moons, drinking happily together. Lin Yu and his companions were having a great meal when Jia Dongxu led a group of fox friends into a small restaurant. Yaha, isn't this technician Lin? Is technician Lin treating guests? How is assistant Lin? Several colleagues next to Jia Dongxu greeted Lin Yu with a smile. Lin Yu smiled and responded to them with a few words. 
Jia Dongxu's face immediately darkened. Especially seeing the sumptuous table of wine and food presented by Lin Yu as a guest, it infuriated Jia Dongxu. If I had known that Lin Yu was treating guests here, he wouldn't have come here even if he had killed him. Dongxu, look at how nice assistant Lin treated this table. That's right, Dongxu. You can't be vague, can you? Next to him, two colleagues sang in unison and spoke to stimulate Jia Dongxu. Hee hee, I can't compare myself to someone else's Lin technician. They are the director's assistant, a small first level fitter. What can I compare them to? Jia Dongxu was not foolish either. He glanced at Lin Yu and his group's table, afraid they wouldn't be able to get five yuan. He can't spend that unjustified money. He ordered six dishes, four vegetarian dishes, and two meat dishes. If it weren't for his colleagues gossiping and grilling him over the fire, Jia Dongxu would only order one meat dish. Another look at Lin Yu's table, the beer is free to drink, and the people who drink Baijiu also drink Red Star Ergotu. Jia Dongxu pinched his teeth straight, toothache. Lin Yu, are you really not something? Even though you know I'm treating you here, why do you insist on making such a big show? What are you doing? Wait and see, you're not a technician for long. In a few days, I'll discuss with my master about electronics and give you a tough beating, dismantle your platform, and get you down. Jia Dongxu took a sip of beer and thought fiercely to himself. On the other side, Lin Yu and his brothers had enough to eat and drink. Pack the remaining meals and let the two brothers from less affluent families take them home. My brothers all agree with this. The two brothers were even more grateful to Lin Yu. After drinking and eating, Lin Yu paid the bill and left the small restaurant surrounded by his brothers. Jia Dongxu and his team didn't enjoy their food to the fullest. If there were no comparison with Lin Yu's table next door, they might be very satisfied with the meal that Jia Dongxu invited them to eat. But compared to Lin Yu and his family's table, Jia Dongxu and his family's table of food is considered bullshit. There is no comparability at all. But no matter what, Jia Dongxu treats guests and they don't eat for free. This table cost Jia Dongxu 2,400 yuan, but it really hurt Jia Dongxu's heart. At the gambling table later, I'll win back all these $2.40 for the treat. Jia Dongxu secretly decided in his heart. Lin Yu and his colleagues left the small restaurant and went back to their respective homes. Lin Yu returned home and brewed a pot of tea for himself, thinking about buying a bicycle tomorrow. Suddenly, there was a knocking on the door outside. Who is it? Please come in. The door pushed open. Lu Haizhong walked in with a big belly. He he, Lin Yu has returned. In a few days, I will take the level 8 exam. Could you please give me a thumbs up and let me pass the assessment? Lu Haizhong had a smiling face and a seductive smile on Lin Yu's face. Lu Haizhong is the second uncle in the courtyard. He used to help Jia Dongxu and his family slander Lin Yu, but in the past, he wouldn't look down on Lin Yu. Who would have thought? Feng Shui took turns, and now Lin Yu has become a technician and also an assistant to the workshop director of their number one workshop. Lu Haizhong is currently a level 7 blacksmith, and in a few days he will take the level 8 exam with Yi Zhonghai and his team. At that time, Lin Yu will be one of the main examiners. Can't help but flatter Lin Yu in the bangs. Lin Yu took a sip of tea and stared expressionlessly at the bangs. Uncle Air, I can't be the master of such things. On the day you take the level 8 exam, another level 9 engineer will be sent to our factory. After the assessment is completed, Director Zhao will make the decision. This is not a small matter for you to take the level 8 exam. Uncle Air, why don't you go back and prepare well? Lin Yu didn't give Lu Haizhong a chance to speak at all, so he just evaded it in a few words. Before, you were lying with your eyes open in your bangs, helping Jia Dongxu and his family both inside and outside. Now, do you still have the face to come and beg me to give you the green light? Do you want to fart? 7. 
Jia Dongxu was injured and turned into a paralyzed person. Lin Yu sent him. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Lu Haizhong apologized for being uninteresting, and he sneered, intending to flatter Lin Yu a few more times. At this moment, a worker suddenly ran into the front yard outside. Not good. Jia Dongxu has an accident. He was injured by the steel frame. This news is like a giant rock falling into the calm lake surface. Suddenly, it caused a huge uproar in the courtyard. What's wrong with my son? How could he be injured by being smashed? Jia Zhang wailed and burst into tears. Qin Huai Ru was also in a state of panic and disorientation. Several gentlemen also ran to the courtyard. Silly Zhu also hurriedly ran over. Yi Zhonghai looked at the panicked Jia family and loudly said, Don't cry, hurry up to the hospital and see how Dong Su is doing. So, under the leadership of Yi Zhonghai, Jia Zhangshi and Qin Huairu all came to the hospital. Jia Dongxu's situation was very bad. A few tons of steel pipes hit him, so he didn't hang and didn't kill him. Currently in severe coma and undergoing emergency treatment in the operating room. Jia Zhang sat at the entrance of the operating room, crying uncontrollably. Qin Huairu also couldn't stop shedding tears. Although Jia Dongxu is a bit despicable, he is still the pillar of their family. But now, the pillars have suddenly collapsed, and life and death are uncertain. How will their family live in the future? Rescued for a whole hour. The green light finally lit up at the entrance of the operating room. Not long ago. Jia Dongxu has been pushed out. Dongxu, I have to go. What's wrong with you? Wake up. Jia Zhang cried with tears in her eyes, reaching out to shake Jia Dongxu up. Family member, please calm down. The patient has just completed the surgery, please do not touch the patient, otherwise the consequences will be unimaginable. The doctor sternly warned Jia Zhang. Doctor, how is my husband's condition now? Qin Huairu wiped her tears and asked anxiously. The doctor gave Qin Huairu a deep glance and said with a serious expression, the patient's condition is very bad. After our best efforts to save him, his life was saved. However, he suffered a serious spinal injury, and I'm afraid he won't feel anything below his waist in the future. You need to be mentally prepared. After speaking, the doctor left. Qin Huairu's head hummed, and her eyes turned black, so she couldn't hang her head and fall. Fortunately, Yi Zhonghai reached out to help her on the side. That's it. Dong Su will become paralyzed in the future. How will our family live in the future? Qin Huairu burst into tears. Jia Zhang cried and fainted directly. There is no impermeable wall in the world. The news that Jia Dongxu was injured and paralyzed quickly spread throughout the courtyard. It's a pity that Jia Dongxu became paralyzed at a young age, and Qin Huairu will be widowed in the future. What's more than just being a widow? The Jia family points to Jia Dongxu earning a living alone. Jia Dongxu has become a useless person now. Who else can the Jia family point to in the future? I heard that Jia Dongxu lost the bet again. He secretly sneaked into the steel rolling mill, intending to steal steel pipes from it. However, he accidentally knocked down the rack and smashed several tons of steel pipes onto him. Is that okay? Shu, keep your voice down, don't let anyone hear you. The steel rolling mill is still investigating what happened. No matter how the investigation is conducted, it's true that Jia Dongxu is useless. It's just a pity that Qin Huairu, such a beautiful little girl, will follow Jia Dongxu as a useless widow in the future. The neighbors gathered in groups of three or five, all discussing Jia Dongxu. Lin Yu's family had not even left, and listening to the neighbors discussing in the backyard, we knew the ins and outs of the situation. Send two words to Jia Dongxu. You deserve it it's not about oneself, hang high. Lin Yu washed his feet and went to bed. The next day is the weekend. Lin Yu slept in and woke up with the sun already high. 
Lying in bed, Lin Yu began to sign in. Sign in successful. Reward, 10 cans of canned beef, reward, 8 bottles of honey, reward, 20 pounds of meat ticket, reward, 25 pounds of soybeans, reward, 50 pounds of white flour, reward, 10 boxes of big white rabbit milk candy, Lin Yu found that the rewards in the check that IN system are random. After signing in, it is uncertain what rewards will appear. That's good. In this way, life has added many small joys. Get up, dress, and wash. Lin Yu opened a can of canned beef for himself, cooked a bowl of noodles, and ate the noodles clean with the canned beef. The aroma of canned beef is like a plague, sweeping across the entire courtyard, causing many neighbors to swallow their saliva crazily. Who's eating meat again? Isn't this too delicious? It doesn't smell like pork, damn it. It's actually beef. Who's eating beef in the early morning? It's too luxurious, isn't it? The neighbors who had slept all night and felt hungry were overjoyed by the nose-piercing aroma of beef. Dad, it's the Lin Yu family eating meat. Lu Guangtian's greedy eyes turned red. Lu Haizhong gave him a fierce glare and said, Lin Yu is now a junior leader. What's wrong with him eating meat? When you have the ability to grow up, you can also become a leader, and then you can eat meat every day. Startled, Lu Guangtian trembled and dared not speak. After Lin Yu had eaten and drank enough, he left the courtyard and went to the department store, heading straight to the bicycle counter. These days, there is a shortage of supplies, and even in large department stores in Kyoto, there is not much stock of bicycles. Lin Yu spent 180 yuan and a bicycle ticket to buy a permanent bicycle. These days, there are only two brands of bicycles to choose from. Permanent and Phoenix. Lin Yu chose a De Yongi car and will buy a Phoenix for Yuli when he marries her in the future. After paying the money and the ticket, Lin Yu took the receipt and went to the traffic management department to stamp the bicycle with a steel seal, put on a license plate, and spent Lin Yu 50 cents. After finishing the task, Lin Yu rode his newly purchased bicycle and wandered around the 49 cities. These days, a bicycle is no match for the super luxury sports cars of later generations, and ordinary people simply cannot afford it. For example, in the courtyard house of Lin Yu and his team, Lin Yu's bicycle is a scorpion poop. A unique, poisonous, one. Mr. E is a seventh level fitter in Zhonghai, with a monthly salary of 84.50 yuan, which is definitely among the top in the courtyard. But until now, Yi Zhonghai has not bought a bicycle. Why? It's not because I didn't get a bicycle ticket. These days, even if you have money and no tickets, you can't buy goods. Lin Yu rode his bicycle around the four or nine cities for most of the day, and the rate of turning heads was simply beyond words. I had lunch outside at a state-owned restaurant. In the afternoon, near dusk, Lin Yu rode his bike back to the courtyard. Lin Yu's return caused a sensation in the courtyard. 8. Buying back the first bicycle in the courtyard caused a sensation. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Lin Yu is so amazing. He bought the first bicycle in our courtyard. It's not just me, it's amazing. As far as I know, buying a bicycle is not cheap, it costs over a hundred yuan. What's more, it's not cheap. What's more, it's spending over a hundred yuan. You can't buy a bicycle without a ticket just because you have money. I heard that only leaders at the level of factory director and workshop director are eligible to receive bicycle tickets. That's right, otherwise Mr. E wouldn't have been able to buy a bicycle so far. He had already gathered enough money to buy a bicycle, but he didn't get a bicycle ticket. The neighbors gathered around Lin Yu's bicycle, discussing with envy in their eyes. Lin Yu smiled and pushed his bicycle towards the backyard. Yen Bugue looked at Lin Yusen's newly bought bicycle with two unblinking eyes and said sourly, isn't it just a bicycle? What's so frustrating? I'll buy one in a few days. Aunt gave him a white glance and said, what are you buying with? Our family can't make it through anymore. 
Yen Bugue chuckled and quickly explained, I've been addicted to talking and joking, haven't I? At this moment, matchmaker Wang arrived and brought along a tall and agile girl. Has Aunt Wang come again? Are you here to talk to Lin Yu about matchmaking? Aunt. Glanced at Yuli behind Aunt Wang's matchmaker and asked with a smile, whose girl is this from? She's really clever. How is the daughter of the old Yu family on Grand Cross Street? She looks pretty, isn't she? Matchmaker Wang smiled and greeted Aunt, leading Yuli towards the backyard. As soon as the two of them entered the courtyard, Yen Jicheng suddenly rushed out of the room. Dad, Mom, you must stop Lin Yu and Yuli from going on a blind date. Yuli is my junior high school classmate, and I started looking for her when I was in junior high school. I want to marry her as my wife, Yen Jicheng said anxiously. Yen Bugue and the elderly looked at each other. Boss, why didn't you say it earlier? Yen Bugue frowned. That's right, if you had told us earlier, we would have entrusted Wang Matchmaker to tell you, so that Lin Yu wouldn't have taken the lead. Aunt. Was also a bit anxious. Although it was the first time I saw Yu Li just now, that girl is really handsome. She looks pleasing to the eye, with a figure and appearance. How good it would be for that little girl to marry her own boss and become his wife. I only hope that she and Lin Yu will have a blind date this time, but don't let it happen. But what aunt? Thought went against her wishes. At first glance, Yuli fell in love with Lin Yu. Lin Yu is tall and handsome, with extraordinary speech. In addition, he just bought a bicycle, and he also has three separate houses to live in. In later generations, this kind of condition is also the first choice for young girls to get married, as they are talented and have a house and a car. Yuli, this young man is Lin Yu. He is currently a technician and assistant to the workshop director at the steel rolling mill, and his future prospects are limitless. Lin Yu, this little girl is Yu Li. She is now a worker in a food factory, clever and skilled, and can work efficiently. Matchmaker Wang introduced the two with a smile. Aunt Wang, Yu Li, please sit down and I'll make you a pot of tea. Lin Yu had no sense of constraint from blind dates, with a relaxed and smiling face, greeting Wang Matchmaker and Yuli to take their seats. Not long ago, Lin Yu brewed a pot of tea, served it, and poured a cup of tea for each of them. Yuli has been secretly observing Lin Yu, and the more she looks at him, the more she likes him. She found that Lin Yu was tall, handsome, and had a maturity that his peers did not have, and his speech was extraordinary. He was also a small leader of the steel rolling mill. Yu Li is naturally willing to be with Lin Yu. After chatting for a while, we cleared up the barriers between us. Lin Yu stood up, put on his apron, and said with a smile, Aunt Wang, Yu Li, please take a moment. I'll go to the kitchen and cook a meal for you. I'll have dinner tonight before leaving. Is this suitable? Yu Li said with some embarrassment. It's okay, is there anything suitable or not? Wait for me for a while. I have already prepared the ingredients and the food will be ready soon. Aunt Wang has tasted my craft, how about letting Yu Li taste my craft too? Lin Yu smiled and said. Wang matchmaker immediately climbed up the pole. Lin Yu's cooking skills are amazing. I haven't had enough of the garlic fried meat and water boiled meat slices you made last time. The leftovers you asked me to bring home were all taken away by my children. Our old man only ate one slice of meat and couldn't stop praising it, said matchmaker Wang with a smile. Really? I didn't expect my cooking skills to be so popular. It seems like I must show off tonight. Lin Yu walked into the kitchen with a smile. Not long ago. The kitchen wafted out a refreshing aroma of meat. In just twenty minutes, Lin Yu finished four dishes. A dish of scallion oil fish, a dish of stewed chicken, a dish of braised eggplant, and a dish of cold cucumber. There are chicken and fish, with a combination of meat and vegetables, providing a complete range of colors, flavors, and flavors. 
Moreover, Lin Yu brought up a pot of pre-steamed rice. Kyoto belongs to the north and is mainly served with noodles, so people rarely have the opportunity to eat rice. Moreover, Lin Yu's rice is still a system reward, so the taste is self-evident. Matchmaker Wang ate two large bowls of white rice in one go, and also ate a lot of meat and vegetables. Yuli also ate two bowls of white rice, as well as some chicken and fish. Blame Lin Yu for his excellent cooking skills. Plus, rice is really scarce. Both women didn't eat less tonight. Lin Yu also ate two bowls of white rice himself, and didn't eat too much meat and vegetables. After this meal, half a pot of rice and all four dishes were eaten up. 9. Riding a bicycle to escort Yuli home, Yen Jiching cried. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After eating and drinking enough, Lin Yu gave Wang Matchmaker two pounds of noodles and offered to ride a bicycle to take Yuli home. Matchmaker Wang naturally strongly supports it. Yuli's liking for Lin Yu has increased a bit now. This young man is tall, handsome, talented, with a good job, high salary, and excellent cooking skills. It's hard to find such an excellent partner even with a lantern. Tonight at Lin Yu's house, she had enough to eat and drink, as well as noodles. Matchmaker Wang's mood was so beautiful that it was bubbling. Yuli no longer remained reserved and nodded, agreeing to let Lin Yu take her home. Three people left the backyard. Lin Yu pushed his bicycle and chatted and laughed with matchmaker Wang and Yu Li. It attracted the attention of the neighbors in the courtyard. Grandpa Wan and Aunt Wan had just finished their meal and looked at the three people chatting and laughing outside. Grandpa Wan said, It seems that Lin Yu has become a wife. What's the point? Auntie said as she washed her dishes. Lin Yu, a young man, was already a talented person. Now he has become a technician at your steel rolling mill, with a bright future. As long as she is a discerning girl, she will not miss out on a good young man like Lin Yu. Grandpa Yi nodded silently. But his mood is very bitter. Why should we have known today earlier? If I had known that Lin Yu would have achieved such success, he wouldn't have favored Jia Dongxiu in anything he said back then and would have tripped Lin Yu. Next door in the silly pillar room. Silly Pillar looked through the window glass at Lin Yu and Yuli walking through the window. Silly Zhu feels very unhappy. I can't tell. Lin Yu, his grandson, has also been introduced to him. It seems that the two of them are still looking at the mung beans, looking at each other. Grandma, Bear Drop, I wish you all the best in giving birth. Silly Zhu's malicious self talk. Silly Zhu's behavior is completely driven by jealousy. Lin Yu and his companions arrived at the front yard and met Yen Bugue and his wife head dot on. Yen Bugue and Aunt saw Lin Yu and Yuli talking and laughing, and their hearts suddenly cooled. It seems that Lin Yu and Yuli have become successful. There's nothing wrong with their boss. Aunt Wang, are you? Aunt pretended to be puzzled and asked. Matchmaker Wang chuckled arrogantly and explained, Today, I, Mrs. Wang, have made another pair. Xiaolin and Xiao Xiao are a perfect match, talented and beautiful. There is nothing more perfect than them when they are together. He. Auntie, do you think so? Matchmaker Wang's mouth was incredibly eloquent. Aunt sneered and didn't know how to respond. This little girl Yuli was originally the girl that their eldest son Yen Jiching was interested in, but in the end, she gave Lin Yu a discount. They are not willing to accept it. Watching Lin Yu and his companions leave the courtyard, Yen Bugue was so anxious that he stomped his feet. Who can be blamed for this? It can only be blamed on the boss. He didn't tell us in advance. If he had told us earlier that he had fallen in love with Yuli, we would have asked Wang Matchmaker to go to the old Yu's house to talk to our boss about matchmaking. What's up with Lin Yu? It can only be said that Yu Li and we have no fate together. Yen Bugue sighed and said. Inside the room. Yen Jiching lay on the bed, crying bitterly under the covers. 
Lin Yu rode a bicycle with Yu Li and took her home. Along the way, the little girl and Lin Yu chatted and laughed without any sense of restraint. At Yu Li's doorstep, Lin Yu specially gave her an iron box of big white rabbit milk candy. These days, big white rabbit milk candy is a good thing. The milk content of a big white rabbit milk candy is equal to a glass of milk. Big white rabbit milk candy is definitely a luxury item these days. Yuli happily accepted the gift given to her by Lin Yu, and the two of them made an appointment to go see a movie together in two days. In short, Yuli is very satisfied with Lin Yu. Lin Yu is also very fond of Li. The two young people can be said to be like dot minded. On the way back from seeing off Yu Li, Lin Yu saw Silly Zhu and Yi Zhonghai. Both of them were in a hurry, carrying things in their hands, and it seemed that they were heading towards the hospital. It seems that the two of them went to the hospital to see Jia Dongxu. Jia Dongxu's life is considered finished. If he dies, it's okay. Qin Huairu will at most become a widow. But he was so lifeless, lying on the bed, unable to take care of himself in urination and defecation. He was a complete waste, completely dragging down the Qin Huairu and Jia Zhang families. Lin Yu estimated that at this moment, Qin Huairu would rather have Jia Dongxu die. But things didn't go as planned. Jia Dongxu did not die, became a useless person, collapsed on the bed, and in the future, Qin Huairu would inevitably take care of him. Expecting Jia Zhang to take care of her son. There's no door. Jia Zhang is lazy, sarcastic, and selfish. She can take care of people. Unless the sun comes out from the west. Half a month passed unconsciously. Lin Yu signs in every day and receives various unexpected rewards every day. I go on dates with Yuli every now and then. Take Yuli to watch movies, go out to restaurants, go shopping malls in short, Lin Yu took Yuli and experienced many firsts in her life. The relationship between the two has heated up sharply, to the point where they can talk without hesitation. System, I need to sign in. On this day, after watching a movie with Yu Li and returning home, Lin Yu finally remembered that he hadn't checked in yet. Anyway, 24 hours a day, you can sign in at any time. Sign in successful. Reward, 8 extremes fist at full level, reward, 500 coal balls, reward, 200 pounds of dried sweet potatoes, reward, 2 supplementary signing cards, reward, 1000 yuan in money, reward, 1 sewing plane ticket, as the saying goes, good food is never too late. The rewards for checking in tonight are diverse and exceptionally abundant. Especially the, full level 8 extremes fist, which is the martial arts that Lin Yu has been dreaming of. 10. Qin Huairu wants to borrow a bicycle, no. Add a dog. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. When it comes to the whole courtyard, the most fierce fighter is the second guy named Silly Pillar. Silly Zhu is a foolish young man who has been fighting on the street since childhood and has accumulated rich experience in fighting. When it comes to fighting in the entire courtyard, no one, regardless of gender, age, or age, is a match for Silly Zhu. Even Lin Yu couldn't beat the Silly Pillar before. But now it's different. With the full level 8 extremes fist, Lin Yu can easily deal with Silly Pillar. Lin Yu's thought instantly activated the full level 8 extremes fist. In an instant. The martial arts and combat techniques of the 8 extremes fist flooded into Lin Yu's mind like a tide. After a brief dizziness, Lin Yu suddenly opened his eyes, shining brightly. Wen has Tai Chi to pacify the world, and Wu has the eight extremes to stabilize the universe. The eight extremes fist is even more powerful and domineering. If you don't make a move, you will definitely defeat your opponent. It is definitely the best self.defense skill. Lin Yu clenched his fist tightly, feeling an inexhaustible amount of strength all over his body. From now on, Lin Yu has become a master of eight extremes kung fu, playing ten at a time feels like playing. Later, Lin Yu looked at the two supplementary signing cards again. In the future, 
if you have something to delay and forget to sign in, you can also use a supplementary sign-in card to make up for it. The system's rewards are so user-friendly. As for that sewing plane ticket, before we get married to Yuli, we must gather it all in three rounds. These days, the four essential items for marriage are Bicycle, sewing machine, watch, radio. Now, Lin Yu has already obtained half of the four major items, and he will sign in every day in the future. Before getting married, he will definitely be able to gather them together and make a few rounds. Lin Yu rode his bicycle through the streets, alleys, and back to the courtyard. He was about to push his bicycle into the gate when Qin Huiru walked out of the courtyard carrying a lunchbox. Lin Yu, you're back. I was just looking for you, Qin Huiru looked at Lin Yu with a soft gaze and said, Borrow my bike to ride. I'll go to the hospital to deliver food to Dong Su. The road is too far and it will take a long time to walk. Riding your bike can save more than 10 minutes. Lin Yu could tell that this woman was intentionally waiting for her to come back and came to borrow her bicycle on her own initiative. To be honest, this Qin Huai Ru is indeed quite beautiful. Even though she has given birth to two children and has a big belly, she still retains her charm. No wonder Silly Zhu has always been thinking about Qin Huai Ru. This woman does have some beauty. While talking to Lin Yu, Qin Huai Ru lowered her eyebrows and eyes, looking pitiful and delicate, which instantly aroused a man's desire for protection. But her move is not effective with Lin Yu. Lin Yu said expressionlessly, no borrowing. Leaving two words coldly, Lin Yu pushed his bicycle into the courtyard. Qin Huiru's entire face suddenly collapsed. She trembled with anger. Tears rolled down in a flash. This scene happened to be seen by the foolish pillar who came out of the thatched cottage. Silly Zhu suddenly became anxious. Qin Huiru is the goddess in his heart, how could he bear to see his goddess cry and shed tears? Lin Yu. Why don't you stop me? Silly Zhu let out a roar and rushed over with a righteous expression on his face. Bastard. You're making Qin's sister cry, are you special or not human? A gust of wind rushed towards Lin Yu, and he punched Lin Yu's face. Lin Yu sneered and said, You're so foolish, you're a fool. You didn't even wash your hands when you came out of the thatched cottage. How dare you fight with me? Who gave you your face? Lin Yu held on to the handlebars of the bicycle with both hands, and his body turned slightly, suddenly exploding. With a contraction of his shoulder, he suddenly pushed out and hit Silly Pillar's chest. With a bang. Silly Zhu let out a scream and was hit more than ten meters away by Lin Yu's shoulder, causing him to fall to the ground. Stupid Zhu let out a painful thud and spat out a mouthful of blood. Qin Huiru was scared and foolish. This scene happened to be seen by the three gentlemen and three aunties who came upon hearing the news. The faces of the elders and aunties changed color in terror. Pillar, how are you? Are you okay? Yi Zhonghai quickly walked over and reached out to help silly Pillar. Yi Zhonghai and his wife have no children. In his retirement plan, there are two suitable candidates, one is Jia Dongxiu and the other is Silly Zhu. But now Jia Dongxiu has had an accident and become a useless person, naturally being screened out by Yi Zhonghai. Nowadays, there is only one candidate left, Silly Zhu. How can Yi Zhonghai not care about the safety of Silly Zhu? Lin Yu, what are you doing? How could you use your hand to hit the silly pillar? Yi Zhonghai frowned angrily and rebuked Lin Yu. Look at you, you're too ruthless, aren't you? You've beaten the silly pillar to the point of vomiting blood. Lin Yu said coldly, Silly Zhu used his hand first. I was just defending myself, and I didn't even hit anyone. Yi Zhonghai was silenced by Lin Yu's criticism. Isn't that what happened? They all saw that scene just now. Indeed, it was foolish Zhu who first attacked Lin Yu. Lin Yu held on to the handlebars with both hands and didn't even make a move. As soon as he shrank, he pushed the silly pillar away with just one shoulder. 
Aunt E also walked over, supported Silly Zhu, and reached out to stroke his chest. Lin Yu, you bastard, you bullied and cried Qin Jie. If you dare to hit me, you wait for me. I won't end up with you in the future. Silly Zhu grinned in pain, his eyes glaring fiercely at Lin Yu like angry beasts. But I haven't finished speaking yet. With a nauseous sound, Silly Zhu squatted on the ground and vomited. That scene is unbearable. Silly Zhu almost vomited up the next night's meal. All the neighbors frowned and took a few steps back, covering their noses. The new book set sail, the first day at ten o'clock. Seeking flowers, collecting, and all data.